no front, no fake, and that's what you be doing. And in my hood, we call that studioing. Drake promotes. Oh shit. The dog came in. The dog, what's going on? So Lux comes out with uh Wilder. Drake is in support of Tyson Fury. If I'm not mistaken, from what I seen on Twitter, I think Drake caught the hit on on, on Lux and he he he's in favor of Geechee in this Lux battle. So that's kind of like a marketing little tool. Like Drake, Lux, part of that. Drake posted the card. It all Lux. gonna bring eyes towards what's going on on the thirtieth. A lot of people Lux. don't don't really, <laughs> a lot of people don't really view that type of stuff. But I pay attention to stuff like that. So I think it's all a part of marketing, which was Lux. genius. No, most definitely. Salute to him. You know what I'm saying. Wilder lost the fight. He fought a valiant fight. You know what I'm saying? Fury just got his number, man. Yeah. I think that's going to be tough for Wilder's history. Like, as far as a boxer goes, his history, like in the history books of heavyweight champs. Yeah. When they start talking your rivalries, they start talking your your your, your matchups, and it's like, nigga, you got this Tyson Fury cat that you yeah, just couldn't beat, couldn't man. Get over that hump. Yeah. Like, yeah, you got him that little time, and it was ever since then, it was just like, nah, you couldn't yeah. couldn't fuck with him, man. He was too much. Is it any similarity there, like with Mike Tyson though? Like, is he, he, he who who was that 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 knocked him? Buster, Buster Douglas. But the thing about it now, nah, cause Mike had drug issues. Mm -hmm. Like motherfucking like outside the ring issues. As far as we know, we don't see none of that with, with Deontay Wilder now. Yeah. He keeping it under wraps and just keeping it inside, and we ain't find out about it. We knew the reason Mike was losing because he just wasn't all the way. Yeah. Whenever he was on ten, it was focused at Customado and all them niggas, and yeah. nobody was letting him get all fucked up and getting all that bullshit happening to him. Then he was straight. Once he he'll tell you himself. Once he started doing all that other shit, getting into that celebrity life of drinking and clubbing and partying and fucking around and doing all this shit it just turned into a whole different ball game you yeah, know what i'm saying yeah. it definitely turned into a different Fuck ball game right. man you know what i'm saying yeah man. how y'all doing man i'm a little late man you know what i'm saying well i'm very late you know what i'm saying but i had to make sure i did step in you know what i'm saying so the peoples can see we pull us up, man. We ain't doing, we ain't lacking, man. Salute Jr. He held it all the way to fuck down for y'all, man. Y'all give, give that nigga some props for that, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all give that nigga some props for that, man. You know what I'm saying? For holding it the fuck down. You know what I'm saying? All by his motherfucking self in this joint. You dig what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, they yeah, said yeah. 17 doors. Tell the 17, 17 door doors. Story, bro. 17 <laughs> doors. <laughs> All right, I got y'all, man. Y'all see my hey Arnold jacket? I don't think y'all see how dope this bitch is, man. Got my nigga Gerald and shit on my shit, man. Y'all will see if I get up out of here, man. You feel me? You feel me? But uh, cause I said, Gotti, what's cracking? Grandies? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, what that, what that mean, man? Whoa, man. Y'all niggas be hearing about shit just start putting shit. <laughs> I'm in the motherfucking podcast. You know, man. goddamn well, I know Grandies right now. What you talking about, Crazy. bro? Crazy. You know what I'm saying? But... Boom, quick story. Fucking 17 Doors. Shout out JR, man. His birthday. You know what I'm saying? He requested that niggas go to 17 Doors and fuck with him. He never did it before. A couple of people showed up, showed out, man. You know what I'm saying? So we probably was in like two groups. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People came out. So it's like six people per group or something like that. You feel me? They group was a friend of ours. You know what I'm saying? In my group, it was mostly dudes. I think we had, like, two girls in our group or something. You know what I'm saying? But we we did have, like, four guys. Me, me Ethy, Lil Ethy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, was it Shakur with us? It was somebody else with us. Uh, Shelly. Yeah, on me. Yeah. So we was, we, was, we, was, we, was, we, was, we was decent. We had a cool little crew and our little crew, you feel me? Nigga, it already started off kind of bad, though, because we was kind of getting into it with the people a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Arguing with them about putting uh, motherfucking us in different groups. Like, nigga, let us all slide in that bitch. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So they already kind of had an attitude. I've been there before. I'm like, man, usually when motherfuckers do a little bit of bullshit arguing with them, nigga, they try to make it their business to follow you in there and make your trip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. More torture. Because basically it's 17 doors. They do this shit every year. Around Halloween time, it lasts for like a month, maybe a month and a half or something like that. But for sure, the whole month of October, I think it might spill over just a little bit into November. You know what I'm saying? But for sure, the whole month of October, you know what I'm saying, they do this shit. It's a haunted house, but it's also like a torture house. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ever seen the movie Hostel, shit like that? It's like a torture house, you feel me? 
where they do little shit to you to make you uncomfortable. So I'm talking about, man, getting shot with rubber bullets, fucking getting tased. Craig got his dread cut Fucking off. sitting in barber chairs where they cut your hair, nigga getting thrown roaches on you, wet you. You dig what I'm saying? Motherfucking uh, nigga drop you out of nowhere. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Onto some shit. Bunch of just weird ass execution style bullshit. <laughs> where it's like some of the shit is like shit where you like, okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought, but nigga, that shit still was crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, lead up to some wild shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't have no phones in there. They tripping. You don't want you recording. Nothing that's going on. Nothing but crazy shit, yeah, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. I've been through it before, but it changes every year sometime or every two years, whatever. But it definitely changes, though, to the point where you would think you know what they finna do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, boom, we getting through it, man. Me and my crew, we getting through it. They fucking us up. We going through the shower party, they wetting us all the stupid shit, the brooches, all the little shit that I seen before, though, where I'm kind of like, and mind you, it was his birthday, so we had already been drinking, man, a little bit. So, in a sense, I'm kind of already like I was drunk as hell. a little loaded to where it's like, <laughs> it's not really affecting me. It's more funny to me. Like, this shit funny as hell. Like, because some of the people who first time, it's like, nigga, they really getting hurt and falling and shit. So, I'm laughing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga, on the real, nigga. So, we continuously go through our shit, nigga. Then when we get to one part, I tell my boy, I tell him, I say, man, this part right here ain't no joke. It's when you got to sit in the chairs, man. It's a part where you sit in some chairs. And you got to push the numbers like eight chairs. And everybody got to sit down. Mind you, it's, say it's eight people, so it's eight chairs and it's eight numbers, whatever. They be like, man, hurry and push a number. If you don't push a number, then we going to shock you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, and you, the whole shit got you strapped down, nigga. So you like, no, fuck it, push a number. And then a the laser point. And a laser too, point, though. <laughs> so it's like, nigga, whatever number you push, you don't find that out. That whatever number you push is fucking... Who you going to shock? You know what I'm saying? So if we all decided to just get scared to push one, whoever in one is fucked. Nigga, he finna get shocked by eight different fucking shockers, nigga, at one time. Nigga, one in his arm, his leg, his back, his, nigga, his ass, all that shit going to shock you the whole fucking chair, nigga. And real pain, though. Like, yeah, nigga, I know nah, average, and I ain't playing when I say shock. Like, I'm just saying, zzz. I'm talking about like some boom, like some yeah. shit, nigga. That's like, nigga, like, like a hundred volts of lightning or something. You feel me? <laughs> So they got us with that. I already knew what time it was. I didn't even want to sit down. I'm like, yeah. damn, I already know what this is on the real. But the thing that saved me is, nigga, when I first, I know they didn't know what to do. So I'm like, nigga, as long as they just don't, like, I think a lot of people were seeing their number and pushing their own yeah. number. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some shit like that. So I remember my boy next to me, he, he push it, boom, whatever they push, he get fucked. He, ah, nigga, cuz, what the fuck? Nigga, what the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? He tripping, nigga. The people, you know, they working in there too. So now they like me. He like, man, cut let me out of this shit. Nigga, what the fuck, nigga? This ain't no game. It's not even no fucking. It's, not, it's supposed to be fun. This ain't fun no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he upset. He visually upset. You know what I'm saying? And like on some like nigga going off like to the dude, kind of like, man, what's, what's, what's going on? Like, man, let us out of here. Woo. So everybody at this point, I'm relieved because I ain't have to say mercy. I'm just like following Lee, like, yeah, bro, I ain't feeling it. Like, you feel me? I'm out of here too. I don't want to do it either. I'm glad I didn't get shocked. Nigga, I hurried up and jumped. Up, but I knew enough to know, like, not to sit all the way down yeah. to kind of like <laughs> not have my back too much on it, like, kind of sit lean. So I'm like, it wasn't gonna hit me as good as it got him. We probably sat down, plopped down, fucked him up, you know what I'm saying? So he pissed, nigga, he, he hot. Yeah. We going through this motherfucker now. Mind you, we done get through the whole thing now. So I'm like, all right, it was just like it always be. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, regular ass, little random shit. Now, usually at the end, it be some shit where you got to crawl your way to the end. Mm -hmm. You crawl through some little shit. Some of the times I've been, because I ain't been a lot. It's been different years where people did different shit. But I remember a time where you have to crawl your way to the end of some shit. You get to choose which one to go through. It's one of them might not have nothing. You just crawl. You get to the other one. Nigga, it might motherfucking, you, everything you touch be shocking your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Another one, you might step your hands on some bugs or some dumb ass shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Some weird shit to get to the end, but it's like, that ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga don't feel like getting shocked in his hand, but like, I can do that to get to the end and anything. But this time I'm looking like, man, this don't look the same. It's like some cages right here, about like about eight of them. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> so I remember asking the dude, I'm like, hey, what y'all finna do right here? Like, y'all finna shock us? You know what I'm saying? He like, nah, nah, nah. We ain't finna shock y'all, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? He like, I'm like, bro, I'm dead serious at this point, fool. Like, if not finna, cause I'm like, this don't look like we could crawl through. If you finna sit us in a cage and shock us the whole time, we in there, I'm not doing it, fool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I'm not, I'm not finna subject myself to no weirdo shit like that. 
to where you can't get out. You know what I'm saying on here? Because I'm thinking like, how the fuck you gonna hear? So he like, nah, you just go in, you nigga, you nigga. The the code is seventeen thirty four. Where the fuck the code was, nigga? No, he's like, you just do the code, and once you, once you unlock the code, you get out. Until you can unlock it, you stuck in there. So in my head, I'm like, man, I don't even make no fucking sense. Yeah. Because what if you can't never unlock the fucking code? Yeah. Nigga, this is a long ass. This is people coming back and forth. So I'm like, man, in my head, it ain't making sense. But I'm like, all right, whatever. Maybe it's some stupid where the code is so quick and it just happened. And yeah. nigga, they probably got some dumb ass. Because they be having people scare you, too. So it is a haunted house. So I'm like, <laughs> maybe they just going to have somebody go, ah, some dumb shit yeah. in the end. So I'm like, I ain't tripping. And we get up in there boom so that they get in there nigga they close the thing <laughs> you know what i'm saying so now you in you gotta imagine you in there on your stomach you done crawl to the thing nigga you can't move you know what i'm saying you can't get back out nigga they done lock the door nigga in front of you is a lock now when i get to the lock nigga on the real niggas i'm looking at the lock i'm trying to see it i'm like man ain't even no i don't see no numbers it's so dark in this bitch you know what i'm saying anyways i'm like man I'm like how the fuck was we supposed to like nigga do 17 anything we can't even <laughs> yeah. see you yeah. know what i'm saying this shit don't even look like nothing working as a mix of me trying to say that i'm like hey Ain't no numbers on here or something like, you know what I'm saying? The, one of the people on the other side was like, was like, uh, hold your breath. <laughs> and like, soon as they said that nigga on the real nigga, some shit come pushing down on the back of my head, nigga, like pushing me down, nigga. And I'm like, <laughs> nigga, my last words, I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just on some like, like, hold on, hold my breath. I didn't get it. Like, what the fuck you said hold my breath for, bitch? You said push the, yeah. the fucking lock. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I'm like, hey, the lock don't work. She was like, hold your breath. I'm, then next thing you know, start pushing me down. I'm like, what? <laughs> nigga, next thing you know, nigga, on the real, nigga, I feel water, nigga, going all up my legs and my shoes and everything, nigga, on the real. So, nigga, instantly, nigga, I kick in, I hold my breath like, fuck. Hold my breath, nigga. Next thing you know, this shit done pushed me all the way down in the water. Nigga, water all the way up, nigga, past my ears and everything. Nigga, my whole face ducked in water. I can't even move because something pushing me down like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to lift up, nigga, and I'm holding my breath, nigga. It, it felt like hours. It probably was only like six seconds. Yeah. But imagine, nigga, six seconds of being pushed out of shock. I didn't even know this was finna happen. So I'm like, what the fuck? I barely had a real strong, deep breath to take. I just hurried up and closed my mouth like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm barely got breath. Nigga, I'm under the water in my head like, oh, nutty. This is the worst way to die at some weird ass haunted house on a homie birthday, nigga. Cause I if if they don't get this shit off me, you know You're what I'm dead. saying? I'm dead because I only got one of the options to like open my mouth and all this water go in my <laughs> nose, mouth, ears, and I pass out in this bitch <laughs> from panic, nigga, drowning like probably four feet of water, wherever the fuck it was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not even that much, but like two feet of some weird shit, you feel me? I drown in that nigga, or I just die because I held my breath too fucking long in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Nigga on the hood, nigga, and I just, nigga, I'm pissed though in my head. Like, nigga, <laughs> nah, I'm it, hot, nigga. So they finally let us up. Like, nigga, boom. In the, in the midst of that, nigga, they let us up. Boom. I mean, they let me out, man. I'm hot at them people. I'm, I'm like, man, what the fuck kind of game is this? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's some shit you supposed to tell people before you tell them, like, you know, you let a motherfucker know, like, yo, you get, like, drenched so, because we drown, too. Imagine whatever clothes we had, nigga got phones in so. their pocket, we drenched, we wet, we almost drown, nigga, for one, nigga, you can't breathe, you, you're like, nigga, I'm like, if somebody got asthma, nigga, they fucked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I'm like, yo, my nigga, what kind of, like, my boy was even more pissed, and I don't even think he got drenched, he just was like, yo, man, how y'all doing this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, on some, like, nigga, we got a sign and waivers at the beginning, you know how black motherfuckers, yeah. we ain't even Reading this reading shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Them shits probably say some shit like in case of death, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All that shit on there, like nigga, in case of death, nigga, they not liable and shit, nigga. But the whole time, nigga, yeah, nigga down there died at that motherfucker by drowning, Everything. nigga. That shit was the funniest you know, nutty, shit. Because he was seriously mad. I'm telling you, man. He was seriously I'm mad. You, like, man. like, yo, y'all, like, what the fuck? Whole mm. outfit just soaked. You know me. I'll go back <laughs> again though, man. That's the fucked up part. Yeah, nah. When I got right there, I just was like, mercy. I ain't doing this. That shit I didn't was crazy. Get, I didn't want to get no water on me. Yeah, that shit was crazy. I would have did it, but nah. If I would have been more prepared and it went a cold night, because it was too cold. You can fuck around and catch pneumonia out there. Yeah, too yeah. Too cold. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You definitely a catch pneumonia or something, because you know what I'm saying? Out that bitch, you feel me? Yeah, hell Nigga man. don't want to catch that. Nigga trying to stay clean. You know what I'm saying? Nigga trying to stay. Nigga trying to stay as fresh as a nigga can in that bitch, but it was definitely dope, man. It definitely was a good time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Enjoyed myself for his birthday, man. Turned up and all that, man. Yeah, yeah I was drunk as a bitch. I got back to, I got got into it. I went, had to go get a room. Yeah. Got back in that motherfucker. Laid out. 
pass the fuck out That's how as soon be. as I hit the bed. That's how it be, man. Nigga, that be the best part, man. Once you finally loaded enough to lay down, man, that shit, nigga, you sleep for days. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you can just man. go out, nigga. It's like nigga be dreaming, <laughs> nigga, on the real. Yeah. You nigga, wake up, feel like you had like slept like a Viking or something. Man, I'm telling you, nigga, <laughs> on the real, nigga, that should be crazy as a motherfucker, nigga. That that like nigga, that that's a different type of sleep right there, man. You know what I'm saying? But what's been going on in the world, man? What's been going on? You feel me? I know it's a lot going on, man. This is no studio, and you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. I know it's been a lot of hoopla. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? A lot of jibba jabba. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A whole lot of uh, <laughs> whole lot of yeah. Fuck, nigga, <laughs> yo, Tom body. Yeah, you feel me? Come on. So a nigga been outside. You feel me? I've been seeing what's going on. I've been hearing the chatter. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I've been hearing the chatter. Yeah, nigga, they done blocked my Twitter. I don't know what happened, man. Some broad hit me on Twitter like, oh, you did this. That First of all, I don't, I don't even remember whatever it was, nigga, but all I did was respond like, man, bitch, get off Twitter and fix your wig. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> got nigga suspended. That's probably like my fifth offense. I done got... Nigga, seven days too many times. This time they yeah. said, fuck it. I got a backup Twitter that got like zero followers on that bitch. I might upload that motherfucking get cracking. You know what I'm saying? When I made the very first Twitter I ever made in life a long time ago when I didn't even know how to use Twitter, I just yeah. made one. Yeah. Shit was old as a bitch. Probably got three people on there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I still remember the code and shit. Yeah. You know, the hood, nigga. So I might do that. So yeah, they suspended the Twitter. It's probably never coming back unless I'm a pillar. I got some peoples on it that say they got some peoples and all that. But I done fucked up too like nigga I, I i got at twitter all type of crazy in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the gmail when they gmail me the suspension <laughs> shit i told them like man like nigga they gonna be hearing from my lawyers man for that racial profiling they did man <laughs> why isn't how her own yeah i'm on them i told them i'm like man y'all did some racial profiling man you know what i'm saying like nigga y'all 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 see a black man with a voice man and y'all, and y'all trying to silence me you feel me for real so Co- Cochran ain't gonna be happy about this, you know. So then, like, I definitely uh, de- uh, emailed them that back. You feel me? And yeah. then they emailed me something back, like, "Yeah, you can appeal your your suspension again." Yeah, yeah. You feel me? You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Nah, yeah. fuck that. I ain't, you know what I'm saying on the hood. They said you are controllable. Yeah, I'm, I am uncontrollable. <laughs> I can't be controlled. You dig what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all seen that live and shit too. Since we is here on No Studio and I will address it, you know what I'm saying? Because this is our platform. We are on Caffeine, but you know Caffeine definitely, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. is a partner with the No Studio and Network. So they get the Sweet they get the first that. exclusive and then y'all get the double back and y'all can watch it again. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Right here on the No Studio and Network on YouTube. Official No Studio and Network on YouTube. Subscribe, all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I think people had a misconception on where the where it came from. You know, right. Nunu Nails, New Jersey Twerk, and Surf, I believe, were on live, and they were discussing the Miss Hustle and the coffee battle. They were talking about the battle, all the dynamics, all the drama that went on with the battle, all the nonsense. Even spoke about the Drake card a little bit. You know, they was talking battle rap, talking about a little bit of everything. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm in the comments. I'm talking my little shit, saying shit about the battles and shit. You know what I'm saying? Saying shit pertaining to the shit that they were, the, the, you know, the conversation they was having. So naturally, the people in the comments are saying, Ag Geechee, Ag Geechee, Ag Geechee, Ag Geechee, Ag Geechee. They seen everything that's been transpiring. So they like, Ag me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me having my 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 stance on what's going on. I'm like, now I'm like, all right, fuck it. I send the request. Like, let me go on up here. Let me say what I've seen and how I felt about the situation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just letting me, instead of being impartial, just letting me up because you're like, we don't have no... It's no size in this. It's no type, but it's no real. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, like you, yeah. you, you playing some game instead of just being like, all right, man, say whatever you had to say. You could have really said it face to face right there. Like, yo, exactly. I think what you did was this, 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 and then I could have told you, no, this is why I did, did, did this, and I think what you, you feel me? Yeah, and like that's adults, how you have you a dialogue, yeah. like, like adults. You know what I'm saying? Like grown ups. You feel me? Like, like, like real. Uh, you feel me? People of of some type of 
code of conduct yeah. you know sometimes so that's where i get fucked up at is in this culture there's not a lot of people with real conduct or real codes you know they able to mingle in with niggas like me and my niggas though they because they just around and they've been around for a minute but now i'm here you know what i'm saying it's mm-hmm. like nigga i'm i'm the law now you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. like i'm here like nigga this is y'all had this fuck game going on for 10 years nigga you know what i'm saying geeks here now you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying nigga i'm, I'm uh-uh. i don't like that you yeah. know what i'm saying i'm gonna say something about it i seen that i did that you feel me? So that's what that was. You didn't want to hear that. So you say, oh, nah, Geechee, I seen you on live and you were doing things and that would be unfair to, I don't see who it would be unfair to. Like you act as if I was coming on there to bash someone or come on there and, and like dispute with something. You know what I'm saying? Like what are you talking about? Unfair? Like unfair to who? Like what do we, it's no dispute here. You feel me? This is just me coming on. Joining into this same conversation, I have a, a perspective on it that you're speaking on. You were there at the battle, I wasn't, but the same time I have a perspective from the, the after events and the, and the shit that I seen before the battle that I felt could have been prevented and things that I felt that you even did wrong. You know what I mean? Her per se that as a business person or commentator for that particular company that she did wrong. And that was the way to do it though, because if you own live and then you saying you have an issue with something, you got a discrepancy, discrepancy with something. Discrepancy that I did, I said because I was gonna directly. tell you, yeah. I was gonna tell you the same discrepancy, the same shit. I I said on my lot, as a as a as an impartial commentator in business, you getting on, you getting up there, and you commentating, you not keeping it fair before the battle. You saying things, you egging on shit, you you painting a narrative to the people because we even was at my house watching and getting haircuts. Yeah. So when we seen that that the the lateness and we seen uh, the comments of like, man, we see who here, and who ain't. Yeah, yeah, the nah. company do what they gonna do, what we gonna do, and you doing all that. Even us as watching, like, damn, yeah, fucking, it already painted to you because like, yeah. because we been watching the rest of the battles. No disrespect to the other battles, but we didn't like them. Yeah. Nah, you know what I'm saying? The battles wasn't good, so now the Wayne battle, everybody wanted to probably watch and see. It's taking forever. Now you painting that this person late but you not even being impartial enough to be like nah don't trip it's finna happen we know she's yeah. here she's right around the corner she's in LA she was here yesterday at the face offs it was all finna go down you dig what I'm saying all of these things were supposed to be discussed to be fair to keep everybody like fresh to both sides you didn't do that yeah. you know what I'm saying me watching it of course she's a part of EFB so I'm a advocate for like nah that's wrong you dig what I'm saying like nah why would, don't, don't make none of my peoples look like they not on time or not, not doing nothing right without being fully disclosing what's really going on you know what i'm saying there's obviously more things to this battle than just showing up on time you know what i'm saying these people get blocked from being in these people mad that you know what i mean these motherfuckers want to fight they got tension so they it's not a regular yeah, situation yeah, yeah, everybody you know what i'm saying it's not a regular situation these type of shit happen smacking them ain't walk to the camera and say nothing then we don't want to hear it yeah let's smack say what he got to say stop trying to be the smoke Boat person for smack. Yeah. That's basically all it is, <laughs> nigga. I'm saying what everybody else really want to really, say. Yeah, that's really how motherfuckers feel, but ain't nobody going to say it. Ain't nobody <laughs> going to say it, yeah. good. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, nigga, I'm going to say it. I don't give a fuck. Man, stop being a fucking spokesperson. We don't, you know what I'm saying? We don't give a fuck what you think. They, you think you saying, and she going to her reaction to be, I'm saying what smacking them want to say. No, you're not. Yeah, because they are saying they, are saying, they saying, You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, and if they ain't going to say it, then nigga, we don't need to fucking hear it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We don't need it from you. You know what I'm saying? on a real nigga they can do it nigga it's gonna it's gonna hold more weight hearing it from them than hearing it from you mm-hmm. just like me telling you holds more weight than anything you got to say yeah. at this point you dig what i'm saying <laughs> it's a pecking order you know what i'm saying you feel me it's a rank and file it's you need to understand yeah. that you know what i'm saying like for real nigga like you got to understand where you at on the totem pole up in this joint mm-hmm. you feel me so that's what that was and that's all it was it was no real beef or nothing but for me it's just give me respect Home girl, I'm not no kid. Yeah. 33, I'm finna get married. I got kids. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I've been living a, gr- a long life. I done did all type of shit and experienced all type of shit, good and bad, throughout life. You dig what I'm saying? So you're not finna get on here and act as if you telling me something. Like, <laughs> expect me to climb because you did something. Then trying to paint it as if I'm corny or that I did some fake or some snake without yeah, yeah. being able to say this and say that in front of me. You know what I'm saying? Because if I would have just left it alone, everybody in the comments would have been like, huh, you did the right thing. Showed geech. Da-da-da-da. Like, nah, I'm not that guy. You're not mm-hmm. finna think you just played. and No, I don't play like that. Now you now you 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 just all the way goofy to me. Mm-hmm. You are you know what I'm saying? Like and that's really what it is. I done let a lot of goofies mingle in my space too long anyway. Feeding off my energy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all feeding off my energy. Y'all, 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 y'all light getting a little shinier because I'm standing around. Mm-hmm. Man, fuck all that. You ain't, ain't doing that no more. Cause do you do your thing over there? I'm doing my thing over here like I've been doing, but I ain't smiling with you. Yeah. 
And see, I think what happens too is like laughing with you. Motherfuckers will get around like somebody that's so authentic. They don't know how to try, act. And they'll try to like emulate it. And but it, then when it's and time it, to stand on your own authenticity. It don't matter. So then it goes yeah. back to even the situation. It's going to be my last time even speaking on this shit yeah. because I'm done talking about it. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't even be, uh, it shouldn't even, it shouldn't, it, it shouldn't take this much. But I, like I explained to somebody earlier, the real niggas is the minority now in this day and age. You feel me? So it's a majority of lames. And lames get on internets and they spin narratives and real people, we don't really got time to do this all day. Yeah, yeah. The good thing is I do got a podcast, so I'm used to doing this now to where I can and go ahead and just do this. It, normally, this wouldn't even be nothing I'll do, but it's going to be my last time, first and last time. When I spoke it on my live, I seen every platform done threw it on YouTube and mm-hmm. tried to get monetizations. I'm about to tax you niggas. Yeah. I'm at you niggas next. Don't think I ain't see down. you niggas. You know what I'm saying? Don't <laughs> <laughs> think I ain't see you niggas, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pull it by the shit up, do it all this shit. You feel me? But all that, nigga, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, the message needed to get out there, and that was even lightly. If we being realistic, she was there, I wasn't. But it's been multiple sources. Mm-hmm. Of people who were there, mm-hmm. credible sources, mm-hmm. staff, people that's not staff, people that motherfucking just know me, people that just know them, people that just was there, that spoke on the situation. When them two females had that altercation, it was men who decided to overstep the women and push the women out the way and try to attack Miss Hustle and them. Mm-hmm. They wanted to be the the, the star of the show and, and be more upset than women. Yeah. Trying to fight, trying to run up, trying to do this. Security pushed them back, and you see, Debo said it on his on the thing. Yo, they pushed them back into the gate as they should. Yeah. Security, hey, let me get them out the way. They made them people's leave or whatever they have or they did. And as any woman gonna do, they gonna call whatever men that they know. They from a whole nother state. She know me. She's a part of every fucking bar. She knows me. She, you know what I mean? We know that her history with Nitty, which is my homeboy. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We know all that. So, nigga, who naturally, I'm gonna call Gotti. I'm gonna call somebody I know. I'm gonna call Act. I'm gonna call the people that I do know. Naturally, as a man, uh, uh, that's just normal. If my wife was a rapper or anything or my sister or they was any type of entertainer and they was in another city and I wasn't around or they had no dudes around and dudes ran up on them, I would hope and pray that if she dealt with some dudes that she called her brother or her homeboy, that she could literally call them and they can come assist them if, yeah. if something serious <laughs> like that was happening. It was past battle rap. They didn't. If it, they thought they was really in danger, a nigga really tried to do something to them. They thinking like, what the fuck? I'm trying to fight this bra. What is a nigga running up oh, doing all this? Yeah. What, what is any man doing that? Then the thing is, Y'all say protect black women and do all that. Then when somebody really do it, then it's we wrong. You yeah. shouldn't have got involved. You then the let the niggas would have knocked them bitches out <laughs> and did all that. Then it would have been like, man, nope, they should have called God. He thought yeah. she was EFB. Yeah. yeah, you know how it go. You bro. dig what I'm saying? You know how it go. You can't you feel win. Me? For can't win for losing. But real people don't even count all that. You just do what it is. Hey, mm-hmm. don't trip, sis. We gonna pull up. My homeboys gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up. We gonna be right there. Y'all can still fight. You can call them to do your fighting thing. Now you know that you ain't gotta worry about no people's running up. That ain't yeah. got nothing to do with y'all business. That, they ain't here for. We ain't here to incite no violence. We ain't here to say nothing. Everybody keep talking about the live. Let them go live. She said her live wasn't working. She just wanted to go live. Whatever they say on the live was they views and they views only. Mm-hmm. Once I grab the phone or any time, you never see me say, "Yo, we looking for you, ma." Yo, bitch, what's popping? Yeah. Hey, yo, where you niggas at? Yeah. Where y'all at? You, you hear me say that? I'm talking to Drake. I'm talking about Lux. Yeah. You feel me? I'm doing exactly what I always do. You feel what I'm saying? Because I don't got to express the energy. You, my energy is already here. You know what I'm here for. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? You ain't got to sell it. You ain't got to sell it. It ain't being sold. Y'all yeah. wanted to see the sale. It wasn't no sale to be sold. It was literally doing what you're supposed to do in a situation like that. When you say you got love for somebody or you say you cool with somebody to an extent and they're in danger or felt like they were outnumbered or felt like something, that would blow down with a nigga. If it's one of them, and I do that for all type of people in these events. This ain't the first time motherfucking done called me. It been men that done called me that battle rap. Mm -hmm. Geech, can you pull up for me? I rapped about it in my T-top battle. That's not no made up shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Salute to him. I I ain't finna use him to use, but nigga, this is dead fucking serious, bro. Mm -hmm. You was in a situation. I pulled up, got you out of that situation. Like, nigga, if I fuck with you and some shit wrong, nigga, and I can, and I'm, I'm put my life, but that's why I got to fall, not say fall back as far as like doing that, but I got to fall back from the weirdos yeah. and even look, because they don't understand that. 
You dig what I'm saying? I come from a real cloth, nigga. If I call any of my homeboys and they gonna pull right up, and it's what whatever I say we doing, we doing. It ain't even no question, bro. I need you to pull up, nigga, and nigga come with a bomb and a vest, <laughs> nigga. They not gonna ask why they need a bomb and a vest, nigga. Yeah. They gonna get the bomb and the vest and pull up. That's it. Yeah. Whatever happens, happens. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm come from that. I grew up in that. That mindset of loyalty, like nigga, if these your peoples and you say to your peoples, rock with them, bro. Hang out, do what you gotta do. If they in trouble, nigga, go home, nigga. That was it. My whole and even when you when I was there, my whole thing was telling them like, look, so them ain't finna show up. Mm -hmm. It's over with, man. They, that's clown shit, man. Go in the room, go lay down, yeah. chill out. Matter of fact, come with us to the seventeen doors or something. Mm -hmm. Come chill out, motherfucker. Don't, I don't gotta say all that though. You feel me? Yeah, we on deck for that, but at the same time, look, it been a whole hour we've been circling this motherfucker. These motherfuckers playing games. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Yes. Nobody finna come fight you. Nope, nobody finna pull up with they people because now they know it's not you're not at a disadvantage. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We it, it's so it's, that's it's no. What they, that's what they wanted though was a disadvantage, like to put them at a disadvantage. You had her at a disadvantage. She flew from another state. You <laughs> drove from here. You had your peoples with you. That was all niggas, no females, F niggas versus females, bro. It was wrong. That yeah. was some sucker shit. Ain't nobody else gonna call it out because they don't want to. I'ma say it. That was yeah. just some sucker shit. Fact. The end of the day. Fact. Feel me? It was just some sucker shit, dog. Niggas trying to fight bitches and all. That's weak. That's weak at the end of the day, man. Any niggas that was doing that, you weak, bro. You got to have more common sense, man. You should be as a man telling your chick, look, either you're going to fight her one-on-one -on -one or we're going to get in the car and we're going to leave, man. I'm not finna get upset. I'm not finna get my blood boiling over some females and we here to get paid. Go in there and rap. Do what you do. Matter of fact, all this crazy shit that we got going, we ain't even no reason for us to put up like that. Hey, why don't y'all talk before the battle? Hey, yo, smack. Look, my girl here, this her here, let them rap. Even yeah. they bump each other, whatever they got to do. But, man, we ain't finna have no violence in here, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how you come at this shit as a business, man. Motherfuckers literally be coming to the events trying to play gangster. Trying to play gangster. Like, it's a, like it's the thing. Like, oh, my God, I'm trying to play gangster. I got to prove I got to prove I'm this, I'm that. Then it's like y'all trying to, not like it's fucked up to say, but it's the truth. Y'all trying to keep up with me. Yeah, no, nah, for real, though. That's all it really boiled down to. That shit really real, And I'm though. not even doing nothing. I'm living my regular life. So when I go to Houston, <laughs> there's a hundred of us. That's how we really move. <laughs> You dig what I'm saying? But I see now niggas just got to come one motherfucker, chill or something yeah, like that yeah, so y'all yeah. don't feel so threatened. Me and my peoples be there not doing nigga. Ask any staff, any league I've ever been booked on. Whoever I came with ever, we've never caused a problem. Yeah, respectable. Never fucked nobody, fucked nobody up at no shit. Never ran up on no men or no women, nigga. That, nothing. None of that did none of that. Anything that we ever had an issue with in battle rap has been handled outside of it. We've had issues and then shit where motherfuckers done called us and whoop whoop and they never had a event ruin, never had a issue people won't even know about them because we don't speak about them mm -hmm. we gonna handle our business it's gonna get handled you know what i'm saying like all this nigga you ain't you, all this uh all this shit that y'all doing for the for the cameras for hip-hop is real for 15 minutes of fame for for all these motherfuckers man that's gonna get y'all hurt it's gonna it ain't gonna lead y'all nowhere but somebody because everybody not playing yeah and then sometimes you might think you not playing like nigga oh yeah it, it, it's crazy but you doing it uh, and, and, and it's certain motherfuckers who you gonna do that shit and it's gonna boom you gonna run into a brick wall mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You only could play crazy for so long. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You only could play crazy games for so long before a motherfucker really crack your head. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, man, you thought you was lit. Thought you was lit. This not really it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's always somebody that's more than you. You feel what I'm saying? That's more serious than you in this shit. So all that shit to me be clown shit. You feel me? Whereas motherfuckers that's just, that's just coming on late with these personas coming on. It's like you can't even. A lot of these motherfuckers can't even back up their persona. Yeah. Tell them take you to their hood. Yeah. Take you to their hood and not just hanging with two, three motherfuckers on some weird ass street that look yeah. like it's dirty, nigga. Like it's grimy. Yeah, like it's grimy, nigga. Something. No, nigga, take them to your hood. Yeah. Let the cameras follow you all day, nigga. Go you to going the to the liquor store, store yeah. and they saying your name. <laughs> the you dig what I'm saying, nigga? Everybody in the hood know you. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? My crackheads walking up to you. Like, I remember you was wild as a kid. <laughs> Go do that. You know what I'm saying? You do that or something. Motherfuckers can't even do that. Motherfuckers be starting this shit when they fucking in their 20s and 30s and shit, man. That shit clown shit, dog. Nobody do this at this age, bro. Yeah. Nobody just starts and starts doing this. It's too late. You don't come to this type of time and start getting money and start doing that. You supposed yeah, to already baggage. had that. That, that shit supposed to just already come with it. See, that's what they, they lack and get upset with me when they say, Geechee so believable. He's so believable. Because it's, it's, no, it's not no act. Yeah, it's just it's so authentic. I'm not doing none of the weird, goofy shit. You can tell, nigga, what is going on when you see me. Mm -hmm. I move with respect every time.
You dig what I'm saying? Oh, man, Geechee got behind the tree. You got damn right, nigga. I was out of town. I seen some wild shit. I moved out for two seconds. Got back out and moved around and lived my life normal from that day. Yeah, yeah. And been going. Like, nigga, I don't have to hide and lie about the situation. Other motherfuckers would have spun it a million different ways. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I ran behind the tree to grab the AK-47. Yeah. Shit wasn't right there. The scope was... The like old... The scope was... The gun was jamming. <laughs> nigga, y'all ain't even see that part, but the camera went off for it. You know what I'm saying? By now, I could have cut on a camera. We be... I could have cut on a camera somewhere and just jumped some nigga in and changed the whole... You feel me? Mm-hmm. It ain't about that, man. Because you gotta prove nothing to these people right here that be in these comments, man. Yeah, yeah. This these shit motherf- reality show This shit them. reality for them. They just watching. Yeah. They ain't... Man, these motherfuckers be on their computer, man. Man, I said this other day when I was in the car with my fiance. It's niggas who be watching this shit from their computer. <laughs> they got too much time on your hands. <laughs> you on Instagram for your computer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You that's, you got too much. I'm on, I got my phone. I'm looking at some shit. And I'm talking. I'm on my business. I got mm-hmm. shit going on all day. I got to keep my head on the swivel, nigga. I'm outside. You know what I'm saying, motherfucker? This shit ain't, nigga. I got on. I'm, I'm out here for real. You know what I'm saying? My face is known. You dig what I'm saying? So I live a different type of life. My mindset don't even be on all this internet shit. Yeah. That's why I try not to deal with it. But when it comes to certain situations like that, I'm going to always stand and be a hundred. So if that make me uh, 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 wrong, then I don't want to be right with y'all. That's the whole issue. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all motherfuckers ain't, ain't thorough. Y'all not 100. Y'all not down like that, man. You feel what I'm saying? You want to talk about the, that, that the whole thing is the confusion. And there to go the confusion. But I thought you was cool with coffee. And there goes the confusion right there because I never speak on this girl. Yeah. You never heard me say nothing ill, bad towards her. Still yeah. ain't finna say it at this moment. I just don't rock with you. Never said nothing ill, bad towards you. You don't, you don't, your voice so small. You don't went on every platform everywhere in the world and exposed. You don't fuck with me and nobody still ain't noticed. <laughs> yeah. You know it what be, I'm saying? Yeah. It's still be people like, damn, they don't get along. <laughs> like, nigga, <laughs> she got millions of interviews out there. Oh, rock with Geechee. Oh, little Geechee. I ain't EFB. I ain't mafia. I ain't right. My nigga, you, they, nobody's listening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They waiting to hear me say it. My nigga, we don't fuck with each other, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She was cool. We ain't cool. She got her own life going on, man. She's battle rapper. She's doing whatever the fuck she got going on, man. They don't got nothing to do with me. Yeah. Dig what I'm saying? And you always give her just do. Like, yeah, she talented. You know That's it. Saying? That's all I'm going to do every time, bro, because it ain't. I don't got no time for the cat and mouse games. You dig what I'm saying? I don't got no mm-hmm. time for the cat and mouse games. I done kept it thorough all the way through. Nigga, I'm one of the faces of this company. Mm-hmm. When she first did the clown shit with me, nigga, that, everybody in that co- company hit me. Hey, dude, is it okay to still book her or is we cutting time? Yeah. No, you can book her, man. I'm not stopping that girl. Money helps you. She's dope to me, man. That's Keep booking nah, her. Yeah. Man, nigga, right n- 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 ask anybody, <laughs> nigga, if I'm lying. I don't got to lie. My, yeah. I, I, nigga, nigga, ask them. Beasley, Debo, P. You, nigga, I, nigga, y'all say I'm lying, nigga. Y'all gonna see me face to face. Y'all know I'm not lying. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna say you niggas' names. Man, I love you niggas, all that, cuz, but it's just real. Nah, it's a Is fact, it okay? No, nigga, book her. Let her do That's her thing. Fact. Get your money, shorty. Keep battling. All I'll tell you, just keep my name out your mouth. Yeah. You don't gotta do a million interviews bringing me up. You don't gotta attach your name to my brand. That's the only thing I care about is my brand. Mm-hmm. Quit trying to use your brand to mine. You don't have to keep telling people, we don't do this, we don't do that. They gonna see it because they gonna keep seeing me and they not gonna see you with me. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not that fucking hard. It's not rocket something. Yeah, yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Like, yeah. my nigga, it's not that hard. You live yours and do your thing. You never gonna hear me speak ill and nothing towards you, ever. So if you ever watch this, if somebody sent this to it, let her know. Go about your career. Enjoy yourself. Prosper. You dig what I'm saying? I've already allowed that. When I had a moment to stop it, how you how she blocked people from coming in battles, mm-hmm. I had a whole chance to block you from, from that and yeah. ask them people who booking you if I'm lying. Man. You dig what I'm saying? You feel me? That's the code. That's part like about Michael it, man. Jordan. If Michael Jordan say, hey, I don't want Steve Kerr on the Bulls, nigga, they trading him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> nigga? You, uh, I'm Michael Jordan. You, I'm about to go play for the for the Celtics, nigga. Are you get rid of Kerr right now? <laughs> no, we're gonna keep Kerr. He makes open threes. Like nigga, what? <laughs> Michael Jordan nigga, dropping forty every night. <laughs> nigga, get Kerr the fuck out of here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, nah, nigga. But nah, Mike, nah, I, I like Kerr. Kerr can shoot, man. Let him shoot over there. You know what I'm saying? He ain't stopping my bag. I'm dropping 40, doing my thing. Mm-hmm. I'm enjoying my shit. Y'all don't get people like me, though, often. Because the shoe is on the other foot, motherfucker would have shot mine down. Yeah, everybody don't got integrity like that. Ain't though. got integrity. You ain't built like me. Yeah. So y'all will never understand me because y'all not the type of people that's like me. 
You dig what I'm saying? But that's why I'm able to move how I'm able to move because I'm always moving with integrity. Real going to always recognize real. I'm going to be able to go to city to city, state to state, and I got real peoples in every city and every state I go to that's tied in with me, that fuck with me because everywhere I done went, I done carried my own and I done did it with respect. And people from other cities and states that done came to where I'm at, I made sure they were safe if they got any attachments to me. If they fuck with me, I made sure they was good to the best of my abilities. I'm not Superman, but I'll be right there with you. I can tell you where not to go, where to go. I can be right there with you. I can, I can show you what's a good spot, what's a bad spot. And you feel what I'm saying? I can do that for you. You know what I'm saying? But all this other shit that y'all got going, it's never going to be me, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to let the clowns run the circus and the real niggas, we taking the streets back. That's it. That's it, man. Yeah. Nigga, the next shit is Drake. Gotti verse Lux. Y'all ain't even understanding how big this is. Yeah. From saying all that to saying, nigga, this is Geechee Gotti verse Loaded Lux. Nigga, this 2021 and 2018, nigga, in October, nigga, I was battling motherfucking uh, T-Top or something. You know what I'm saying? On on the strike cards. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, bro, like, nigga, I'm, this is here. You know what I mean? This is the last <laughs> level of rap. And he get, I'm giving Lux the shot. I don't give a fuck how you look at it. Feel me? I'm the biggest name on the West. Done yeah. brought all this shit up. <laughs> nigga, now you get to battle me. Nigga, nigga, they ain't me battling you. We battling each other. Two juggernauts. You a king from Harlem. I'm the king from Compton. Nigga, you yeah. gonna run into me, dog. I yeah. just did it in less time than it took for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got your same status in battle rap on my end. Come on. Come you on, You dig what man. I'm saying? <laughs> Com compare our resumes, though. I'm just being a hundred. Compare our resumes. Nigga, yeah. I done battled just as many of the names he done battled or, and more. Mm -hmm. You feel me? He what he got mooks nigga he got serves and shit nigga I got serves I got arsenals I got all these niggas he done battle plus more niggas on my resume that he ain't never seen he ain't never jumped in there with no rum nitties you dig what I'm saying <laughs> he ain't jumped in there with no Danny Myers you feel me nigga ain't jumped in there with no Chilla Jones <laughs> nigga ain't jumped in there with no Eel Wheels nigga what the fuck is he crazy <laughs> like nigga I done been in there with killers bro he ain't jumped in there with no K Shine nigga. <laughs> Fuck is wrong with this nigga? He ain't jumped in there with no DNA, Come on. nigga. He ain't jumped in there with no twerks, <laughs> nigga. I done been in there with killers, bruh. All over the state. This is his first time ever battling in the West Coast. Damn, nah. He battled uh, Surf out here. My bad. <laughs> his first time having a like, cause Salute Surf, that's my guy, but that just wasn't a good battle. Yeah. So this your first real test right yeah, here. Real. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, I know what, you know what I'm okay. saying? You battle, okay. you battled a nigga from New Jersey in the uh -huh. West, nigga on the hood. You got a little nigga. No, you come in to handle, yeah. nigga. This is a different type of smoke right here, my guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You in here with Geech, nigga, on the hood, <laughs> on the road, nigga. You got to stick. This is what it's about. I done been to New York and battled on the road. Yeah. I done been to Houston. I done been to all these places, man. Battled on the road, hostile environments. Mm. It's what you gotta come for, and I think he ready for it. Don't get it twisted, it's beloved. Yeah, he ready yeah. for it. He done been all over. He done battled in pissy hallways and Harlem's on 112. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he used to battle on the roof. The loser had to jump. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? So he ready for it. But on the real nigga, this gonna be the battle of a lifetime. This a this a this is two of the greatest. This is the one of the biggest battles you ever gonna get. Yeah. They don't really get too much bigger than this. They're like people on you trying to make all these. This is the this is the epitome of what battle rap is supposed to be. <laughs> Who would have ever thought a motherfucker from Compton, California, gonna be at the top of battle rap? Nigga, that's not even logical. Yeah. Nigga, what we ain't thinking about battle rap? Who else oh, from Compton even battle rap? Man, I think it's just be a LI. Yeah, you know no, what for I'm real. We ain't got no other <laughs> battle think, rappers. You know what I'm saying? I think that's really true. Come though. on, my nigga. Yeah. Feel me? Ron Compton. My, anybody from Compton battle rap, fuck with me. They yeah, my yeah, niggas. Yeah, yeah. D Smitty and shit like that. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I done uh, ushered in all the Compton battle rappers. You dig what I'm saying? Feel me, nigga. He is. He got a whole list of niggas from Harlem. Salute to all them Harlem niggas. Sway, head, I shine, Mook, man. Much love, respect, Rex, my nigga. They already know what time it is. But this one of them ones. Yeah. This for Drizzy. Drizzy put the hit out. Uh oh. He already dropped the bag. The bag already dropped. Is our no, the bag already dropped? We done already. Man, we all did all kind of shit, man. man. <laughs> Salute Drake, man. You know what I'm saying? Bag already dropped. He already put the hit out, man. Uh -oh. You know what I'm saying? He done signed your name and sent the check, bruh. You gotta come see me for some Lux, man. Like, like this ain't no day. Like, this gonna be the best me ever. And I'm not just saying that because I'm really literally focused. My fiance can tell you I'm up late nights. It's like I'm my mind is in a different zone. Like, nigga, I know how important this battle is. Mm -hmm. I all these other battles ain't even been important to me like that. I ain't gonna lie, I be running through these niggas, talking these niggas crazy. <laughs> just getting paid, and I just get through it. It just looks amazing because it's just easy to talk real nigga shit to these niggas. Yeah, but yeah, this yeah. one, I know what this one mean. You know what I'm saying? This one means something, man. This beloved man for for what battle rap is, he been at the top. 
of the chain for a long time. Mm-hmm. He been in the cut. He been seeing me though. I know he ain't liking it because he like, damn, Gotti run this shit. They saying Gotti the f- hold on, I'm luck. Nigga ain't yeah, even talking yeah, like, about what you. The fuck? You the underdog. How y'all forgetting about? How me? you forgot? So he coming out the rafters like he should, like an OG should. Hold on, man. I used to be on the block. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. be that young nigga to knock her the fuck out. <laughs> you know them OGs come back on the block yeah. trying to tell you something like, hey youngster, we wasn't doing it like. Boom, shut up, man. <laughs> Get back in line, cuz on count. Yeah. The nigga we ain't even playing like that no more, OG. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? On the real. We ain't gonna move like that no more, OG. Matter of fact, hey, bro, no, I'm telling you, come back around, niggas gonna clap your shit up. You feel me? Oh, God, the niggas up like that with good. You feel me? This some new uh, shit, nigga. This new era versus smacker. All this shit, man. So I don't give a fuck, man, on the real. If I don't fuck with you, nigga, don't act like you fuck with me when you see me, man. This me and Beloved, man. This this for us, man. This for Compton. This for Harlem. You know what I'm saying? This for Battle Rap. This for hip-hop. This for motherfuckers who understand the essence of the sport. Yeah. Who understand what this shit was built on. You dig what I'm saying? Who got morals and codes mm-hmm. and, and live by a certain creed. He from a certain cloth, I believe. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. He got believability for me because he don't fake who he is in my eyes. You dig what I'm saying? He's Lux. So salute to him for that. It's the same way with him. We got the utmost respect, but we gonna try to kill each other. Yeah, yeah, he ain't gonna yeah. never heard nobody talk to him the way I'm gonna talk to him, man. Niggas, you know what I'm saying? And I hope I never hear nobody talk the way to me that he talked to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that's what I'm hoping for. That's the battle I want. That's the battle Drake want. It's the battle Caffeine want. It's the battle you are. That's the battle everybody want. That's a fact. So that's what we gonna give him, man. No fucking studio. And stop fucking playing. Y'all know what time it is. My lovely fiance is in the building. You dig what I'm saying? You wanna be on camera? You not feeling good? You wanna be on camera real quick? You wanna show him yourself? <laughs> she don't wanna be on camera and shit like that, y'all. But she is in the building. She came to pull up and just, you know. Bring your bring your wife to work day, you know what I'm saying? She in the cut. But yeah, we here. We we out of here, nigga. That's how we leaving, nigga. We leaving straight gangster like that, man. Put a beat on. You know what I'm All saying? Right. You got the shit. Yeah, Put yeah, a beat right. on before we get up out of here, your boy. Hey, they said they want you to do some RB shit. R and B shit. It don't matter. Throw some on there, nigga. It's 23 motherfucking stages in this <laughs> bitch, man. 32 sounds 32 in this bitch. 32 fucking sounds in this Hold bitch, man. Hold on. Nigga. The it's fucking it's man, it's stop it. playing with me, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. First, first beat that I first found. beat, nigga. I'm ripping whatever, man. I ain't got no picks in this shit. All right. You know what I'm saying? All right. You feel me? Free me off that Twitter. Ain't know the fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's get it. Yeah. You know what the fuck going on, man? It's motherfucking yeah. 23 stages and 32 sounds. Y'all know how we doing it, yeah. man. We getting this thing cracking. Stages. <laughs> 23 stages. Let's go. 23 stages. Let's go. 32 sounds. Let's go. Knocking you down. How did that sound, bitch? I ain't singing. I'm a crib. I'm a gangster. Knock your ass the fuck out. You's a wangster. Your luck's out. I knock Lux out like Wilder got knocked out by Fury Bitch, I ain't Fury My name 22 motherfucking stages, did you hear me? <laughs> I don't let you lame niggas near me Y'all niggas is some haters I'm a pimp, I should've showed up in some gators Bring me that drink with that right there Ain't you a waiter? Waiter, 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 waiter. waiter. Hey, let me call you later I'm going up later. like I'm on an elevator, elevator. Or I'm an escalator. escalator Yeah, bitch, use a traitor Nigga, use a hater You don't wanna fight me And you were scared to fade her I'm balling like, oh I'm dark like Vader hey. Nigga, yeah Look, look, look Hey Arnold, my jacket Pussy shit, I don't jack it uh. You niggas ain't doing shit I'm on fire like some matches Layer on that mattress ooh. Beat it up, no action Ooh, ooh, yeah I'm a shooter like John Paxson I brung up Steve Kerr Brung up MJ They know I don't play They know I'm Bay. Uh. Yeah, Baylo, hold Bay up That's gang shit I ain't trying to get caught up by the fears of nothing. Nothing. I ain't telling them nothing. Nothing. Big old guns. Guns. Them shells I'm stuffing. <laughs> Big old pockets. Yeah. That money I'm flooding. Stuffing. Y'all niggas be talking, but y'all ain't on nothing. Nah. 
Got a beanie on my head, got money on my head. What? Got my bad bitch on the bed, what? giving me some head. Whole lot of sandwiches, I just want the bread. I'm gonna keep flexing till a nigga dead. You know but guess what? I ain't never gonna die. I'm gonna live forever, forever, ever. Forever, ever, forever. and any weather I'm fly. Every day I get high, might fuck your bitch. She told me she was by. I was like, bye, wait, come back. Hold up, where you going? I seen you on that blade. Should've known that you was home. Ice all on my chain. She like, damn, that shit keep glowing. So much motherfucking ice when I walk and think it's snowing. Man, you already knowing. I just killed this beat. Yeah. They already knowing. I'm still in the street. Yeah. They already knowing. I killed this beat. Yeah. Cause they already knowing. What? 21 stages in the streets, bitch. Yeah. yeah. You know it, motherfucker. You know it, motherfucker. <laughs> That boy 23 stated don't play with you hoes, man. Stop playing with you, nigga, man. 32 sounds, 33 flavors, These ain't man. no motherfucking riddance, man. None of them. Off the motherfucking top, man. I'm trying yeah. to tell you, man. Ace, man. Listen, man. Nigga don't, you know, that wasn't no motherfucking written, man. That's off the motherfucking top, man. <laughs> Yeah, did. Yeah, did. 23 stage don't play, nigga. Tell your boy Lutz to do that, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, he can't. He can't fuck with me. Flex, I turned it down three times, nigga. They know what time it is, nigga. Yeah. I'm getting too much money. You feel me? Getting way too much money, homie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Off the top like a barbershop. Tell them yeah, area, nigga. Crim what the fuck crim, going on, homie. nigga? Expensive pain, nigga. On the real, nigga. <laughs> certified, c- certified shooter, boy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Certified gangster boy. Yeah, Drizzy, what's up, nigga? Yeah. Y'all know what the fuck going on, though, man. It's your boy, Geechee Gotti. Hey, we gonna give y'all a 23 status album, man. A straight parody album of all freestyles. Y'all want that shit, man, with, with, with DJ 32 Sounds. Y'all let us know. And we'll really do that, man, and drop that for y'all, man. I think that shit'll be funny. We having some fun with this shit. I think it's taking on a life of itself. We gonna probably shoot a 23 stages video or something. Have some fun with y'all with one, of these, with one of these freestyles or something. So we got y'all, man. Don't even trip. Y'all know how we do. We finna, we finna blow up on you hoes like Nitro, man. But I got shit to do. He got shit to do. We got shit to do y'all got shit to do stay blessed stay away from all them suckers man continue to to, uh to prosper in this life man i always want to leave y'all with some positive shit continue to prosper man you know what i'm saying continue to you know put your best foot forward you know what i'm saying mask up sanitize up don't catch this covid man there's a lot of people out here getting sick and all that shit man so make sure you're taking care of yourself check on your peoples man if you got peoples in jail man send them some money send them a letter send them some pictures you dig what i'm saying do what you can man stay tight in with your circle man you know what i'm saying watch yourself want to send a huge prayer out to hit man holla and his family oh, yeah. you know what i'm saying don't know enough about the situation to speak on it in any type of way all i want to do is send prayers and positive vibes towards his family you dig what i'm saying and hopefully everything goes good with with his wife man and she pulls through that's it that's all man you know what i'm saying much love and respect man you know what i'm saying to everybody that was in the chat today man y'all continue to stay blessed y'all know what we gonna keep doing up here man we gonna keep not fucking studio on you dig what i'm saying if you ain't tuned into this podcast then nigga, you're some bitch. i'm outside i know my can't stand me i rob a nigga in front of his granny fn shooting hell no nah, it ain't jamming and my bitch made a meal all scamming. Ah, damn it.